Prepare to be humbled. Time to meet uh, Ava Virtus. She's a 17-year-old grade 11 student, and she's just won the world's top science fair. And she joins me this morning. Good morning. Good morning. The moment that I knew that I really loved medical sciences was when I was nine years old on a camping trip with my parents, and my mother bought this book called The Hot Zone about the outbreak of the Ebola virus. She said something about this, you know, deadly virus that had come to America, and I stole it from my mother. <laughs> I'd never read much as a child. The moment I opened it, I was just engrossed by how this disease came from monkeys and very gruesome parts about how your organs essentially disintegrate inside of you and you die from vomiting your dissolved organs. I began to read the gory parts to my younger sister. She was seven years old, I was nine years old, and she would have nightmares about monkeys with Ebola. <laughs> And then my parents would say, why did I read her the terrifying parts of the novel? I thought she'd be interested. <laughs> After I read The Hot Zone, I was very fascinated just by disease. It was something that was scary but interesting, and it just sort of pulled me towards it. So in grade nine, I emailed professors at the local university saying, I'd love to do research. I'm only a high school student, but I'm willing to learn. And I ended up working in a neuroscience lab studying Alzheimer's. I was working in the lab two hours every morning and about three, four hours after school. In Alzheimer's, the cognitive decline, the loss of memory, is associated with neuronal brain cell death. So I work trying different compounds to see what might be able to inhibit or at least reduce that brain cell death. And then after a year, I uncovered something. And I said, okay, you know, you have to be skeptical in science. And when I did it again and saw the same thing, I got very excited. I presented my research on Alzheimer's at the Intel International Science Fair. Judges came by and grilled me on my research. I thought if this cell death is so programmed, then it must be possible to inhibit this cell death. I remember that when they got to Besting Medicine, they announced my name. And I was just so excited to even get there, let alone to do well there. I walked up to that stage and that was when I realized that this is the beginning of the rest of my scientific life. How do you explain how a 17-year-old girl is coming up with something that is, you know, baffling some of the leading minds around the world? I mean, I set this as a goal for myself, and I just love doing the research, and I love being a part of it.